Welcome everyone. Today I'll be taking a look at and installing these Govi RGBIC Spotlights. The Govi RGBIC Spotlight comes in two variations. You can order it as a four pack or a two pack. And this is how many spotlights are on each individual strand. Now you cannot add or subtract from the number of spotlights per strand. You can order multiple kits and add them to your overall Govi app experience. But for each strand, you can only have what you order. I picked up these Govi spotlights to expand my current Govi home accent lighting setup and configuration. Currently, I have two sets of their 32 foot RGBIC light strands, one at the upper portion of my home and the other one at the first floor. I also have a number of their lantern bulbs throughout the front portion of my house. The overall setup looks very nice other than the right side of my house, which unfortunately lacks any lighting and just looks off with the rest of the house. Now, the reason I have no lighting on the right portion of my home is just the way the, the uh, roof line is. It's really, really high up and awkward to run another light strand up there. So that's why I went with the spotlights, hoping I can project enough light up on that side of the house to really blend it in with the rest of my lighting. Now, the good thing with the Govi system is I can add pretty much any number of their lights into the Govi app and control everything seamlessly via automation with timing or various scenes and everything. And it looks really good and is very easy to control from anywhere, home or away. I picked up the four spotlight kit, as you can see here. We're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. We'll take a look at what all is included and then we'll get outside, install this, and hopefully the right portion of my home can look as good as the rest of the house. Here is the colorful box. As you can see here, it is the four piece kit, which is what I ordered. I'll give you a little bit of info here, 1800 lumen, and that's at 90 degree, 2200 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin for the color temperature. And then it tells you it does work with Alexa, and a Google Home. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and get this opened up. Some minor documentation, some foam packaging, and then this is what the actual spotlight looks like. Relatively small, has the mounting hardware. And uh, as you can see here, it does have, it looks like a nice diffused effect here in the lens. And it does not look like I can spin that off. It looks like you have the adjustment for your mount and it does have what looks to be waterproof cable connector here. And go ahead and pull out another one of the spotlights. Feels like the wiring here. And then we have two more sets of spotlights in here for the four total. Move that off to the side. And we'll see what we have here in this secondary box. If I can figure out how to open it up. Here we go. And a lot of wiring, very large wiring harness and uh, should definitely have more than plenty of room to run these. I plan on running it from my downstairs uh, front outlet, which is near my front door. And these plan on being situated just to the right of my front door behind a couple bushes I have there. And my issue is these look like to be the stakes that you'll be uh, driving into the ground and then your spotlight mounts onto what looks to be a little nut here at the top of the mounting stakes. Now, my only concern for my situation is the bushes are quite large and there's not a ton of room between the home and the bush to actually situate these spotlights. So I may pick up some poles that will actually come out of the ground, elevate the spotlight to be up at the top of the bush, maybe in the center of the bush, and I can have these projecting out a little bit further away from the home so I can maybe get more coverage. I'll have to see how that looks when I get back outside. But uh, overall, this is what you get as a nice little control box. Looks like just an on off button and this is probably what you'll use when you sync everything to your app, app uh, on your phone. We'll take a look at that and how to actually add these to your phone app. And here are all the little T connectors. 
As you can see, the wiring harness is, um, does not appear to be expandable. And really, I think the main reason is that it only provides so much power from a single outlet and you probably cannot drive more than four of these uh, spotlights. As you can see here, I have one spotlight and my wiring harness laid out on my workbench. And what I'm gonna do is test all of the connectors on the harness as well as all of my spotlights. For this quick demonstration here, I'm just testing one spotlight, but I will go through and test all of them and in all of the connector uh, plugs. Now, an easy way to test this is wanna make sure you do plug into a power source with your uh, little AC adapter here and then you have a little power box. I don't have this hooked up to the app yet, but it still allows you to test functionality of at least coming on or off. So if I go ahead and hit that, as you can see it does light up. It's really bright in my garage, so can't really tell, but I'll shut these lights off. And here we are. Just to show you how much distance and throw even one spotlight can really, really, you know, really show. Check out my Dracula stakes right here. Actually, these will be where I mount the spotlights. You can see right here, through this mount right here with a screw, I'm going to mount it at the end of this wood dowel. I bought this from Home Depot. I believe it's 48 inch dowel and I sharpen the end so I can stake it into the ground. Hopefully you can see that right there. And then I just drilled a hole here at the end, as you can see right there, and bought some screws that fit through the bottom of this mount here. Now, most likely you won't have to do this, but because I'm trying to get this uh, mounted kind of inside the bush, so this is poking out, projecting uh, maximum uh, distance onto my home. I figure I can elevate with this, get it out from being too squished between the bush and the house. And so this is kind of my uh, poor man's solution to that. Hopefully it works. But what I'll do is I'll just stake this uh, at the you know rear portion of the bush, mount my spotlight here, and then I'll just run the cable uh, connector down this and maybe just throw some zip ties on here to you know make it look nice and flush. And then I'll run it around. Here is where I plan on throwing the spotlight. And this is kind of my situation going on with the bush or bushes. As you can see, there's a small gap back here. And I was worried if I put spotlight, you know, here in this opening on the ground, it may not clear much past the bush, even if I trimmed it some more. I do plan on actually trimming this down with the window, so this will be a little bit lower, but I plan on taking the little dowel rod and just kind of situating it, you know, something like that, and then have the spotlight mounted on top. It'll clear it once, especially once I trim it down and be able to give me hopefully more of a throw onto the home. So I'll have two here kind of throwing up on the side on each side of the window and then two maybe further in the bush, hopefully projecting above the main window, but we'll have to see. So I'll get everything out here, get these hammered in place, and then I'll see how it looks getting these spotlights mounted on these. The spotlights are installed. Bush is definitely <laughs> causing some inconvenience. I tried to work around them, but uh, I'll definitely have to tweak this and maybe trim some of the back portion of the bush further back, but you can see here, or the spotlights. I do need to get a small extension cord or something like that because uh, the wires between the first spotlight, this one, and an outlet is not that long. And they really needed to probably double the length between the first spotlight and the control box. I believe it should be waterproof. But, you know, I don't know how waterproof the control box right here is. This is IP, you think this at 44. Um, that's out of the way. It's underneath a balcony. Does it won't get direct rain or anything like that. But this, because of the length of the wiring, 
is probably going to get some some action with you know rain or my sprinklers or my wife waters her whatever these are plants but i probably will run probably place that in maybe a bag or something like that some kind of a ziploc and then i'll tuck everything in the seam here probably behind these pots small extension cord of some sort go up here and then maybe just run it at the ledge here underneath the uh, welcome mat and then into the outlet i wish i had a better outlet or an outlet over here but of course that would be too easy and i do not so uh yeah as you see it's you know illuminating some i, I really won't know until it's dark out and you know i won't get the optimal effect until i probably trim back more of these bushes but i think the placement's pretty decent i didn't want to like hack up the bushes too bad or my wife would kill me so i kind of have them intermingled in there you can't really see them from the front of the home as you can see you can see a little bit of the shine over here on this one but you can't actually see the spotlight now this one i had to kind of have stick out of the bush because the bush isn't wide enough but I stealthed it a little bit with some extra d dead branches to kind of give it that stealth vibe. But this one has the most overgrowth covering it, so this one probably do the worst. So I'm thinking of maybe trimming, trimming like this right here, give it more of, a, of an area angle of attack on the side of the house. But we'll jump back here when it's dark out and we'll see, you know, does it, does it actually light up? To the top i doubt it will but even if a little bit of glow gets up there and just kind of makes a makes the side of the house pop and blend in will be good but uh yeah but before we come back this evening we may as well add this to the Govi app and get this thing wired in with the rest of my lighting this is my android phone and as you can see here is the Govi home app the app is also on your Apple devices and whatnot, but uh, here are my devices that are already on my phone. And as you can see, my Arlo camera system is alerting because I'm in front of my camera. So please disregard that, but we can go ahead and add the device. And it's actually detecting my nearby new devices. This is an H7066. So we can go ahead and add that. Please short press the on off button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that off camera. All right, I went ahead and added that and it gave me a suggested device name. Hopefully this gets in focus and I'll hit done on the device name. It's going to add it for Wi-Fi. Here it next prompts for the Wi-Fi. Of course, I already have my Wi-Fi set up for my previous devices. If you don't, you will need to add your info. We can hit, go ahead and hit done on this. Hopefully it does connect and it should then add it to the app and I should be able to control it with my other devices. Now that it has been connected, it is listed with my other devices. So if I go actually back here and nope, I don't want to know about that. Here we have the display of all my devices in my front exterior, which is where all my devices for outside are set underneath. You can actually set custom uh, device tabs here. And if you want to add anything to that, you can go to device, your device room management, add different rooms and add devices to your room. So as you can see here, I have most of my devices in this front exterior and I have two office bulbs, which are actually in my home office. So those are not part of my uh, front exterior. Now, if I go back here, you look at front exterior, you can see I have my spotlights. Each time you click on it for the first time for a little bit, it will actually do feel like a, kind of connect to it, but you can change a number of facets such as your color, brightness. So if I wanna do select all because you can independently control each spotlight so for me i'm just going to go do all of them if i want to set them to a color brightness 
And as you can see behind me, I have the red glow going on here. And then if I wanted to do, you know, purple, and you have purple. And then of course you have a number of different things such as scenes. So if I want to do maybe like a glacier scene, you have a nice little glacier scene. It can do almost like animations and stuff like that, depending on your scene. Some do, some do not. Some can have pretty cool effects and some are pretty basic, but uh, very simple to control everything. And you can play around with this if you want to discover more of the features. This isn't really a full deep dive into the app. Maybe I'll do that in a follow-up video, but uh, as you can see, everything can be fully controlled and you control all your app, all your devices through the app, set up automation so you can have a holiday you can have timers so i actually have my lights come on at eight in the morning and they shut off at actually they they come on at 7 p.m at night and shut off at eight in the morning and that's every single day and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the lighting and how they're looking so far still not fully dark out as you can see still a lot of light it is uh you know lighting up the first floor pretty good but it does have some glow going all the way up to the top the second floor i'm interested to see how this will look once it's fully dark out and you can see the rest of the lighting, including my garage being open, which kind of takes away from some of the effect, but uh, definitely bright. But you know, the big question is, can it reach all the way up there? I would be surprised if it's bright up there, but if I get a little bit of a glow at the top, I'll be happy. And you can see here, looking pretty good overall. We'll circle back this evening and uh, we'll see how it looks. Now I'll have to do a follow-up um, on my install, getting a small extension cord. And uh, so for this evening, I'm gonna actually have to disconnect everything and kind of just sit it off to the side until I get this extension cord. It is evening time. And as you can see, these spotlights turned out pretty good not perfect but overall I'm pleased with the look of them they do light up the right side of my home not you know basking in as much color as I would like but you know I'm really asking a lot to reach you know over two stories up to that top portion way up here but it does have a nice little glow which which is nice. I currently have a combination of like a purple green Halloween look, I guess. My wife doesn't like orange as a color, so I had to go with a, kind of a witch's Frankenstein look. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. And uh, you know, I may end up still trying to come up with some solution to get a little bit more light up there. And then also above the attic up here, but uh, I don't want to die. So that's kind of why I went with the spotlights instead of trying to scale way up and over, you know, hanging over that roof line. I, <laughs> I, I don't, I mean, I, if I do that, my wife will probably up my life insurance policy before I proceed. So I'm trying to play it safe. So overall, turned out pretty nice. I'll show a few different color combinations here shortly just to see how it looks with some different, different lighting going on. Here's with a solid red color on all of the exterior lights. Looks very nice, I think, overall. And the right portion of my home is lit up. It's not bright at the top portion, but you know, uh, really can't expect it to be that, that bright, that high up away from the spotlights. But overall, the throw compared to some homes I see with different spotlights, distance and the, and the brightness of these things is very, very nice. I'm gonna scroll through a few different colors. Um, I don't have my app or my automation all fully programmed. I'm probably covered maybe that in a separate video, but you can set up device groups and then just hit one button to change all of the colors, which is nice. Here's that group setting, as you can see here, and I have it on mic. And check this out. As I'm talking, the lights light up with sound. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, probably give someone a seizure and HOA will probably come after me for this, but figure that look kind of cool and it's always nice to have more options. Another 
multicolor setup. And you can see here, I have a few different ones like Christmas. I haven't fully programmed these and updated them for the new spotlights, but it's gonna be a general idea of some of the power of your options you can go with. You know, Aurora. But I definitely need to go through and tweak some of these things and uh, have all the devices programmed for that. And we have some recommended plans that comes with it. So if you want some mystery, here's Mysterious. And uh, yeah, overall, definitely pleased with the overall outcome and uh, the look of my home. I'm definitely probably one of the <laughs> most lit up homes in my neighborhood, which you know, it's not saying a lot, but this is what the rest of the neighborhood looks like. Yeah. Not super vibrant. And then you have the odd ball out with my home. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and we'll wrap this one up. I have completed the expansion of my home accent lighting by adding this Govi spotlight kit. Overall, super pleased with how it turned out. Love the overall interface and connectivity of the Govi app with all of my various Govi lighting uh, devices, which is at this point, quite a few inside and out. Be sure to watch part one and part two. This is technically part three of adding all of the various Govi lights on the front of my home. Part one is adding the lower portion of their RGBIC uh, lighting strip. Part two, I add the top strip. I believe I have the lantern bulbs in the first video as well and how to set up everything that I've done so far. This one being kind of a part three you saw where I added the spotlight to help overall give me a nice blended look of lights on the front of my home. Now, if you guys like the video, feel free to subscribe. I have another Govi lighting video coming very soon. This one will actually be on the interior of my home and probably in the living room uh, portion of my home. So be sure to tune in for that one and leave a comment. Ask me any questions you may have. Check out the various social media sites as well as my Zilla.com uh, website and myzilla.com slash shop web store where I have a number of clothing and uh, drinkware and some other devices and items that you may find interesting. But definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more stuff coming in general. Love for you guys to be here and I'll see you on the next one.